Hello guys, in this video we will talk about how to introduce and use variables and optimization in the simulation of ANSYS Maxwell. Here I use a very very simple simulation. It is a C-shaped core with a moving object and two coils that magnetize the C-shaped core. We will measure the torque of this moving object and in the initial simulation, you can see the excitation is 1000 amperes, positive and negative in the winding. And the torque would be near 0.3 Newton meters. Now let's exercise using variables. For example, we will change the current of the winding, the rotation angle of the moving object, and the size of this steel part. To start using variables, you can right click on Maxwell 2D and use design properties or go to Maxwell 2D and design properties. This is the list of variables that we added to simulation. Now I will add, for example, a variable named current unit is current 2 with amperes the initial value would be 1000 another variable that I'm using is for example rotation it would be angle degree for example initial value would be 45 degree of rotation and for the moving object size let's introduce dx length for example 20 and dy length again and 50 now we have four variables that we haven't used yet i will click on ok and let's go and use variables we have the initial simulation so i know the current is 1000 here i will delete the value and type the variables name current on the line one and here the same current on the line one with the negative sign. When we created this part, we had a rotation here. The rotation was 30 degree. So I will change the name to rot, R O T, and the rotation will be get to 45 degree. And let's change the width and height of this rectangle. When we created this rectangle, you can see here the sizes and initial positions. So the initial position was 10 for X and 25 for Y. And X size and Y size of the rectangle are 20 and 50. So let's change them to DX divided by 2 and the y divided by 2 minus dx and minus dy as we set the sizes for initial values uh, the size won't change but now we have four variables used in this simulation if I click on Maxwell 2D, I would see all the variables in properties window. We can see if I change the rotation to, for example, zero. The moving object have zero degree rotation. Or if we change it to 30, it would rotate. Here is use of the variables for rotation. And let's change the sizes to, for example, D 
x the width of the rectangle would it be 30 it got fatter if we change it to 10 it would be thinner uh, we have to notice that if we use variables in wrong way for example make it 80 or make it more for example let's rotate it with 10 degree and the heights with 100 if this situation happens we will have some errors for intersecting so we have to consider the relations between the variables so let's get back to the normal 30 and 60 now we have four variables that change the simulation but we don't need to change them manually we can use optimization or parametric sweep for parametric sweep you can right click on optimetrics click on add parametric and for example change the rotation from 0 to 90 degree with steps of 5 degree if you add this parameter and click on ok on the table tab you can see all the states that would be simulated but it was a single variable sweep now if we change the width to for example use dx from 5 to 10 with steps of two and a half millimeter and add it it is three steps but if you go to the table you can see the variables changing and all the states of simulation so for these two variables we have 57 simulation that needed to be done one by one by this optimetrist if you right click and analyze the optimetrics in the progress window you can see there is written that 48 remaining simulation and the solved number of simulation it will simulate all the states that we defined we will wait to finish the simulation and meanwhile please write comments on comment part of the youtube and hit the like button it is the best support that you can do and comments are very important for me if you have any question you can ask them in comments now the simulation is finished and we have 57 results for rotation and the width of the moving part we didn't use optimetrics for current of the winding but you can try it by yourself now we want to see the results create a magnetostatic report and let's see the torque to view the results you have to click on magnetostatic report rectangular plot and we will plot the torque when you have parametric design or optimetrics you can see the families tab have all the variables that you changed For plotting this torque, I will use the rotational degree as a primary sweep and all the changed dx for different diagrams. I will click on new report. As you can see, when the moving part rotates, the torque in the align and unaligned situation, the torque will be zero and the maximum torque will happen in 30 degree when the width of simulation get bigger the torque will increase too so it was a simple example of a variable and using the variables for optimization you can see more complicated simulation and use more variables remember that we use the parametric sweep you can use optimization or sensitivity analysis if you want to use optimization you will choose the type of optimizer algorithm 
you would need a large amount of time to use 1000 iteration but it's possible to use them instead of using optimization i suggest you to get near to the optimum point and then use the parametric sweep instead of optimization because it needs less time and you can choose the output variable by yourself instead of getting results from optimization i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe the channel and hit the like button if you like this video comments are the best support for me have a good time